All right, everyone, I'm Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert. I am the author of the books, The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution. We are gonna talk about four types of PCOS and why this is important to dive into when we're looking at your hormone test. Now, I also have more information on this in my uh, podcast where it's the female health solution, so you can check that out. I also have done more videos on this, not only on this YouTube channel, so you can subscribe to that, but also on Instagram, Facebook, and on my TikTok where I dive into this more. Um, on my TikTok, there's also a free masterclass that you can you know, dive into, and it's over an hour long, so just fair warning there. But I do go into a lot more specifics here, but I just wanted to recap this and cover this really briefly, and then also mention that this is something that's really helpful if you are looking at what type of PCOS you have so that you can target it specifically. This is why doing hormone testing is so helpful. So four different types of PCOS, if you're like, I didn't know there was four types. I didn't either when I had cysts that were rupturing and bursting and awful. I didn't either. <laughs> this is part of the reason that led me down this path was my own journey with uh, ruptured cysts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, not a good time, not a good time. Well, when we're looking at PCOS, the first two types here are very, very similar. You're gonna have increased levels of estrogen here as well as increased levels of testosterone or androgen. So you're gonna have very similar symptoms, heavier cycles, very irregular cycles, um, clots. Uh, you can also have a higher occurrence of endometriosis or adenomyosis. Um, you're gonna have insulin resistance, weight loss resistance, easy weight gain, fatigue, a lot of stuff there, right? And you can have facial hair, acne, a lot. <laughs> Sounds like such a party, right? Mm, great. The biggest difference between type A and type B though is type A, you will have cysts a lot of the time. Type B, you will have everything, but maybe when you go in and they do an ultrasound on your ovary, they don't see a cyst. And you're like, I had cysts before, but I don't have a cyst now. Yeah, it's the same thing. You still have PCOS, it's just type B. Yep, there you go. Type C here is just really focused on having that increased level of testosterone. So you might not have certain symptoms. You might not have heavier cycles. You might have very regular cycles. You might have, you know, some facial hair, or maybe you just have really bad acne and you're like, I don't understand it, but maybe you also have some cysts. That's type C. That's the type that you have. The last type here, type D, this is you do not have any acne, you do not have any facial hair, you do have cysts, but you just have really heavy cycles, clots, things like that, weight gain, weight loss resistance, all of those things that come along with having those increased levels of estrogen in your system that your body's not processing out. Now, why is hormone testing so important? If you don't know what your hormones are doing, how do you know how to help your system function better? How do you know? Right? You can be throwing a bunch of stuff. So one of the most common things that I hear from gals are like, oh, I heard that something like inositol is very helpful for PCOS. Should I take that? And I say, it depends on what type you have. It depends on what type of PCOS you have. Because if you have a type where you do have increased levels of testosterone, that can be helpful. If your testosterone levels though, are not that elevated and it's really more the estrogen, then it's not really gonna be helpful. So it depends. When I look at a hormone test, I'm able to really identify, okay, these are the areas to target. These are the things that your system really needs. So by getting a hormone test, you can cut out all the energy and effort that you are wasting. Just trying a bunch of different stuff and hoping that it gets you the right result. You can go more below this video. There's links, you can learn more about Dutch testing. You can also sign up for a free consult call with my team and learn more about Dutch testing and just if this is the right next step for you. Again, a lot of times we just spend so much time spinning our wheels, wondering if this is the right thing for us. Dive into it, stop wondering, get that guidance and make sure you're making the right next steps for you. Because this is hard enough to deal with as it is. I know, like this is, having cysts was one of the worst things that I had to experience. But there's a lot of great things you can do to help your system function better and help you feel better as long as you know what you need to target. So that's what I got for you today. You can leave me a comment if you have any questions. If you're not comfortable commenting, go ahead and send me an email um, because I hear from women all over the world every single day because there are so many questions on this.